But this is a real tough test uh, against this American Zach Page. Page is very good at holding and spoiling and mauling and making you look bad. And uh, you mentioned that he goes the distance with the likes of uh, Michael Sprott and uh, Tyson Fury. Throwing in names like Jonathan Banks and Dominic Gwynn in there. Decent international standard fighters and he's been the distance with all of them so it's not a fluke he's, he's a very very tough nut to crack indeed yeah well we know of Dallas's power we've seen that often enough out of the, the current crop of young heavyweights it's quite possible he's the, the, the hardest puncher you know the single punch but a lot more questions still to be answered uh, how will he be when he's dragged into a fight we have to see he's chin tested he's very tall so He's going to be caught with big punches as he moves back. So there are changes to be made. I think a few of those questions could well be answered tonight against Page. Yeah, no question that it's a step up in class. 11 KOs and uh, it's amazing you think he's uh, he started off with uh, a couple of points wins and he's been banging them away ever since, basically. When he hits them, they stay hit, they're done. But uh, getting a clean shot on Page is going to be uh, the tricky bit, so patience. And a bit of thinking is going to be required if he's going to put this fella away. And already we're seeing he's a bit of a slippery customer, this Zach Page. Yeah, well, look, frustration is the, is the thing that uh, Dallas has to fight against here because he's going to miss with a lot of punches. Page doesn't have to win the fight here tonight. He's here to do a job. He's here to survive. He's here to take uh, Dallas a, a few rounds. OK, he's going to go for it now and again with punches like that. But uh, this is what he's going to do. So he's going to draw Dallas, he's going to draw mistakes from him, he's going to frustrate him, he's going to annoy him, so we'll just have to see how Dallas copes with that, see if, if he can pin this fellow down before he lets some punches go. A little bit of trouble getting the radar tuned at the moment, Tom Dallas, and uh, just been picked off with one or two clever little shots from the American. Just missing with the uh, right hand. Page saw that one coming, and saw the left coming as well. I tell you, for a guy that turned 38 last week, his reflexes look pretty good. Well, this is what he's good at. He does have kind of sparring partner mentality, but uh, every now and again he's going to spring into action, and, and if he draws the lead from Dallas, if he hangs Dallas out to dry, he's going to come up with some big punches. Yeah, just nipping in again, landing a couple of. Harmless shots, but point scoring shots, and then Dallas can't get him back in return. It's a, it's a round on my card. He's pinching the American yep. simply because he's landed the shots, and Dallas just hasn't. Dallas has been hitting fresh here all the way through, so he has a job on his hands. So he's going to have to find a way to impose himself on this fellow, and he's going to have to take some chances to do that, maybe be able to take some shots. Interesting listening in between rounds. Andy was uh, Andy saying Andy Kidd was just saying awkward, isn't he? And then just suggested to uh, to his man Tom Dallas that he tries to double up the jab. That uh, he's seen the first one too easy, so double him up and uh, try and get him with the second one. And that's exactly what Dallas is doing. And still, Page is on his bike and making his man miss here in the early stages of this second round. That was better. I mean, single punches against elusive opponents are no good. Also, you have to show a little feint, cause them to make the first move. There are things you have to do against this type of opponent. We'll see if Dallas has the experience to do that. But uh, that was a right lead followed by the left jab, which landed. So more along those lines is needed. Yeah, a lot more. That's about the only shot he's landed so far. And meanwhile, the, uh, he's buzzing around and like an angry wasp in there, the American, just... Uh, Landing, getting out of trouble, getting in, spoiling, holding. And Dallas having real trouble getting a range finder here. But Dallas has raised the tempo, which is important. You cannot allow these fellows to control the tempo, decide when to go to what, when to rest. This is better from Dallas, uppercut inside. Yep, now he's pressurising. He was only stalking in the opening round, but now he's pressurising a little bit more. Much better. And a big right downstairs. Again, the left comes out and misses, doubling up the left again, and maybe the second one just about got through, but Page is in no trouble here at the moment. Well, the Page limited with his own attacking options, he just sort of 
throws a shot and then sort of leans in and, and holds. Yep, Dallas is learning that single punches are no good. He's a little bit stiff at times, a little bit predictable at times. Well, he's going to have to change that here. And I think he's going about trying to do that. Caught with a left counter there. The local man. And then the left to the body from Page. A good right hand. That's the best shot of the fight from Dallas. Yeah, that was so simple. That was the left jab followed by the right hand. Just the old textbook stuff. And that's what you must do here. No single punches whatsoever. He'll counter a single punch. really is a, the, the patience game this for Tom Dallas tonight if he starts getting frustrated and trying to load up with a big single shot it could be a very bad night for him uh, he's kept a cool head but this is a much better round than the opener I think he was a little bit surprised maybe even shocked in the opener but uh, he's got his act going now finding some solutions still problems ahead but he's finding some solutions few seconds of the second round and I wonder if Andy Kidd will be suggesting that they've got to try and cut the ring down somehow give this place give, give this fella nowhere to run you have to force these elusive guys to make the first move when you do that just a little faint taking us very long to work out exactly why he's going the distance against decent opponents landing another little right hand inside there Zach Page can certainly take care of himself and he can make you look bad ah, can the big man cut down this ring a little bit give this man nowhere to run and just when he had him in the corner Page came out and uh, was happy just to throw some punches there see Page has been mixing in a tough school so nothing that's happened so far has discouraged him in the slightest and he's he can fight little bus whenever he chooses all the pressure is on Dallas here and a decent combination and then spoiling and holding inside from Page and Dallas really is struggling to land anything decent trying a right hand and he just whistled past again there but again Page managed to escape un unscathed well we haven't seen that little feint that he's calling that we're calling for he's just walking straight forward being a little bit too predictable the only fainting we're seeing is coming from the, the American again. I, I tell you if, if on punches scored which is how you got to score a fight Zach Page is winning this one right now yep because Dallas hasn't produced in this round, he's just too predictable, just marching straight forward, doing the same things. He's just ducked inside that long left. Uh, they don't score him on the backbone. And his fans started cheering. At least Dallas hit something. Well, he landed one decent shot there. Dallas. Yeah, but, but he took a few yeah, in the tunnel. Exactly, uh, exactly. Page turning to south, Paul just to ask to, the, to, to add to the confusion. Yeah, not for the first time as well. He's uh, he's a real tricky customer. He can switch hit. He can, he can go into southport. And again, he's uh, proved how elusive he can be. And and the pace that it's being fought at. Page can keep this up for eight rounds quite comfortably. You would think. Yeah, well, this is what he's been doing throughout his career. And you, you can see he's in decent shape, he's not carrying too much weight. He's these little flicking punches here, but the trouble is, Dallas is not producing anything, missing wildly there. No pressure. Now he doubled up the left jab and got through. But very little pressure, and not an awful lot of work coming from the big fella. And just take this awkwardness away from him saw from our stats not an awful lot in it in terms of punches landed but uh, a much more efficient performance from the American what a wasted effort from Dallas <laughs> well, no 
who goes through a career having it easy every time. There's always someone who can make you look bad. That's what's happening to Tom Dallas right now. But one big shot, of course, we're, we're with the heavies, we're with the big boys. One punch can turn everything upside down, but at the moment, Tom Dallas is being made to look very ordinary indeed out there. Keeves getting caught with these little leads that aren't doing much damage, but they're scoring punches from the 38-year-old from Ohio. I mean, the timing's not there, and nor is the power, and that's the problem too for Dallas. So he's landing glancing punches, not allowed to set himself to get the maximum power. Well, they reckon we would see some problems there. Well, they turned away from the, the, the punch, so he can't complain about it landing round in the kidney region. Better from Dallas. Starting to up the tempo a little bit here, Dallas. Well, that's what he has to do. He's been allowing uh, Page to control the, the pace of the fight. You can't do that. You have to put this fellow under pressure, make him work, and throw more punches. Be prepared to miss. That's better. Dallas is going to have to be prepared to miss with a couple to land. He, he's trying to be precise with single shots. It's not working. Let some go. This is better. It's ever since uh, Page looked at referee and John Lewis and uh, asked what was going on, the, the, the tempo seems to have turned a little bit here. Another decent single right hand, now the jab coming back in for Dallas. It's a decent little spell, this. For a man from uh, just up the road. Still not seeing that feint that is so important in this kind of match. You have to make this fellow make the first move, you know where he's going, then throw the punches. That's better. See it again, throw two punches, the second one will land. Be prepared to miss with the odd punch. Again, finding it so hard to land a clean shot on this slippery opponent. Easy to be critical, Jim, but you'd want to see Tom Dallas going through the gears a little bit. This is a very pedestrian performance for him so far. Yeah, well, we have to remember he's a young man who's learning the game, and that's pretty evident tonight. 